Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo. Welcome to my universe. Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and one of the things announced today was something new from Expert One. Actually, it's six new things, and I'm here with Lyle Spoos to talk about what are the new certification programs that you announced and the education initiatives that go with them. Right. When we take a look at the skills that are required in order to implement, design, architect, and support cloud systems from HP, it requires a whole new set of skills. And one of the things that it requires at the highest level is an architectural certification. So our MASE Cloud Architect allows us to board certify someone to ensure that they have the highest levels of ability to architect, implement, uh, plan, and also justify from a business standpoint what's going on with a cloud, whether it's a um, public or a private or a hybrid cloud. Underneath that, we have two new certifications, the MASE Integrator and the ASE Integrator, which actually go down a level, and that really gets into the technical and operational setup, design, and implementation of the clouds itself. Now, what is it about these certifications that, that you guys looked at from an industry perspective, and I mean, what, what is the need that's there? All right, so um, there are some industry cloud certifications out there, but HP is unique in the fact that this is the first end-to-end -end cloud certification program that's been introduced in the industry. And that means because we have such a great uh, span of products that we can take a look across the entire spectrum of what makes up a cloud solution for our customers and ensure that we have skilled technical individuals who can address each and every one of those areas. And then to complement these three certifications, you announced a number of educational initiatives that help people get them, I, I assume. Absolutely, one of the important things uh, when it comes to providing people with skills, knowledge, expertise, and certifications is how do they get them, how do they attain them. Now the most traditional way is classroom instruction, which is great and we continue to do that. But then we also have customization, we have mobile apps, we have different modalities of providing that kind of education and skills. So one of the things that we've done is we've introduced the HP Institute, which is an academic program that has a two and a four year curriculum that is really aimed at secondary uh, schools and providing individuals who are just entering into the industry with the capability and the ability to learn about our products, our technology, and our solution. The next one behind that is HP Press. This is a new initiative that makes our curriculum and our uh, technology and our product information available to individuals through an electronic uh, distribution means. So they can buy them online, they can buy them at a bookstore, uh, there'll be different ways that they can obtain you know, the, the information. And then the last one is the uh, classic distribution uh, channel of how we work with large commercial organizations to provide HP products and technology um, to our customers. Now we've signed up five of the largest commercial training organizations in the world and these uh, organizations specialize in working with large multinational corporations as well as down into the SMB, um, providing uh, education, customization, remote labs, and all different kinds of ways, modalities of delivery to provide those, those uh, certifications to our customers. Now for the customers and, and possibly some of the partners, is this something where uh, this was a, a reaction to people looking for whether or not individuals were actually qualified to implement the HP solutions? Yeah, so this is a little bit of a personal opinion. Um, you hear a lot about certification maybe not being um, appropriate or maybe not making as much sense to a CIO or a director of IT. And that's because in the old paradigm, um, you know, multiple choice tests and using uh, certification as a measure of what you know, you know, was the standard. Certifications have been around for like 40 years or so. As we look forward, we're looking at changing, you know, not just the game, but the playing field. With what we're doing with different modalities of delivery, changing our certifications, looking at cloud certifications and expanding that as our product line, our technology grows, we're looking at really changing the way people close the gap on skills, knowledge, and expertise. Because it's important that we make sure that the individuals that we say have these skills and abilities actually can go out and do the implementation in real life, real customer environments. 
So you're saying that these are actually hand on, hands-on lab type testing environments as opposed to the traditional fill in a bubble and, and uh, win a prize? Well, absolutely. We're forging ahead and looking at new ways of um, using uh, virtual labs, for example, to not only teach and support the delivery of what we're doing, but also in the future to be able to use them as practical exams. So for example, if I'm online and I'm being and I'm accessing one of my virtual labs, I would be able to actually make physical connections between different storage arrays, different uh, servers, different switches and networks, not only from HP, but from uh, other vendors in a multi-vendor environment. This makes it very real and makes it uh, very apparent to whoever is testing that this is a real life environment, not just something that's a simulation. Well, so, and, and actually, I mean, what you're describing there is, is really what you would do in any sort of a cloud configuration if it's behind the, like, the single pane of glass that, that HP sort of uh, proselytizes. Well, absolutely. Um, the difference is, is that as we go through the change in technology from data center to conversion infrastructure to, to cloud, right, this is a constantly changing environment. And a static uh, set of tests or static uh, simulation isn't going to be dynamic and be able to change quickly as technology change. As we bring out new products, new technologies, we need to be able to be able to change those quickly on the fly. Um, having these labs and also having our new learning partners have a the capability to maintain and run these labs themselves, uh, increase our scale, increase our flexibility with the technology, and our ability to take that out into our customer base and allow them to see and use and prove what we're saying is true. Now is this something that, that you would foresee over time being something that would have, kind of like, like lawyers have CLE, continuing education to, to maintain certification? Absolutely. Um, we have a, a term inside that we sometimes use, and it's called continuous learning. And anything that you do, whether you have a certification or you're learning about technology or um, you know the next rev of a product line or, or whatever it is, is it's a never-ending process. And that never-ending process is critical, especially in dynamic environment like we have at HP and that's out there in the real world environment. So we want to make sure that we're always following up, we're providing updates, that we're looking at new modalities of getting information out to our learners, and we're building this community so that there's a place people can come to to find the information they're looking for and bring, and bring them together. All right, well, is there anything else you want to say about Expert One? Well, just that uh, Expert One is a new program. We announced it a year ago. We said that we were going to change, change the playing field, not just the game. And as we look at what we've announced this week and as we look forward in, over the next 12 months and beyond, I think you're going to see some significant things that are happening with how we push the envelope and test the elasticity of technology as it relates to making sure that people have the skills and the knowledge that they need to do their job. And this is good for us. From a technology standpoint, it's great for our customers, and it's great for the individuals who are out there earning a living and looking at their career and trying to improve their status. All right, well, thanks, Lyle. We'll have to check back at the next HP Discover and see where Expert One has gone. You bet. Thank you very much.